Welcome back to my Pokemon Black walkthrough. And in this video, I'm going to be battling in, catching my third Pokemon, and battling like a couple of Plasma Grunts and some other trainers. So, this guy, girl, is going to send out a Lipard. Leopard. Lipard. Leopard. Leopard. I don't know. And I'm going to use Leaf Blade. And I'll kill that thing. One hit. So that's all that p person had. And then I will come up here and I'll battle this dude. And so, Team Plasma Grunt, he's going to send out Sandile. And then So I will take him down. And then he's gonna have a Muru Hog. And then I'll use Leaf Blade on him as well. Probably kill him. Oh, that Pokemon is going to be awesome. The next Pokemon I'm going to get is awesome, but the Pokemon that I'm going to get last is even awesomer. I don't know if it's awesomer, but it's really good. I mean, it's fast and it's strong. So, anyways, I'm going to come down here and battle this lady. Um... Ace Trainer Saya, Saya. Send out a Drillber, level 30. That's going to be good for a um, Leaf Blade. And I'm trying to train this one to level 30, or 41. Well, it's already 40. Two Pokemon level 40, about to catch my other Pokemon level 26. And um, actually, if you guys are wondering what level you guys need to be about the time of the Gym Leader, um, or not the, wow, the Gym Leader. Well, yeah, I guess the gym leader. The, the gym's Pokemon is level 35, but the um, the champion or the elite fours levels, they're uh, they're around level 50. I mean, they're about level 50, level 55. So, I mean, if you can get your Pokemon to level 50, then you guys should be okay. So, I only need to train these Pokemon about 10 more levels each. I'll probably have my Pokemon level 55 because I only have four. Um, plus. Well, no, that's it. Um, so actually, there is a um, item down here, all the way down here. So we are going to get a hyper potion here, and right here there is a star piece. Awesome. can also get a rare candy here so well actually let's use our dowsing machine I'm not going to use another super repel because now is when I'm going to be trying to catch my tine ammo so I'm just going to be searching for one hopefully I can find it if not then it sucks So actually right here you can get a paralyzed heal. And then if you come up here, you're gonna get a Pokemon battle. A Joltic. Actually, actually there's an eight percent chance I'm gonna catch the Pokemon that I'm trying to catch. So, um Yeah. Here's a bright powder. And I think it'd be smart if I sent out a um Oh there it is. Tynamo, be a guy. Yes, level 27 too. Um, well, how I'm gonna injure him? Let me look at his defense really quick. So I don't. If I use strength, I hopefully I won't kill it. Uh, sorry about this. There it is. Um, his defense is two. Um, no, I wouldn't be able to use any move that. Let me see if I can switch to a Pokemon. 
Yeah, I guess I could switch to this Pokemon. Hopefully. Okay, he uses Thunder Wave. So, I'm not going to go first now. I wasn't going to go first anyways. I actually am going to use Bite. I use this Charge Beam crap. So, his special attack rises. I'm going to use Detect. It works. Wow, that was kind of pointless of me. So, he uses Charge Beam again, and that's going to kill me. So, oh yeah, special attack rises, dude. That's great. Um, let's go ahead and send out a U Terrier. Try to get as much damage as I can on it. Let me bite it. Crap, charge beam's gonna hurt. Dang it! Of course he gets a critical hit. At least the special attack doesn't rise. I'm going to send out my level 22 Pokemon. If I can strike first, I'll be able to bubble beam it. And it uses spark. Well, that might not... Oh, yeah, that's going to kill me. It's four times as super effective. So, crap. Damn it. Um, Now I only have these Pokemon left. Which, I mean, I don't know they'll survive. It's just i got to get... Maybe a Perilous? No, I mean... Dang, he's just super fast. Gosh, kills all my freaking Pokemon. Getting critical hits and all this shit. So I'm going to send out this guy. And maybe... What does he have? No, I can't use anything on it. I can use acrobatics, but that'll kill it for sure. So I have... Let me look at a Great Ball. Let me see what a Great Ball will do. One, two, three. Oh, caught it. Well, that was easy. Probably should have left a spot open in my party, but, you know. Electrical eel Pokemon. Now, I'm going to rename it, yeah. Sho uh, I'm going to name it Shocks. Uh, I've said to someone's PC, of course. Um, well now I'm going to use the last of my repels, I think, if I even have one more. Yeah, I have two more. So, that's all in this place down here. I caught the Pokemon I wanted, and then now we're going to be going upstairs to where... Actually, let's go this way, and I'm going to battle this guy. And there's... After there's this guy, another guy, and then the Pokemon Trainer in. And that is all of this place. So he's going to send out a Kling. A Kling or a Kling, I'm not sure. And I'll be able to... I'm going to Leaf Blade it. A dire hit. Oh my goodness. Then I, I'll use Leaf Blade again. So it's kind of a waste of a dire hit because I just killed that thing. And he's going to give me 500 experience. That's all for that guy. And here you can get a max potion, which is hidden. And then here is the last trainer until Pokemon Trainer N. Um, he, she, he has, she or he has two Pokemon. This thing, is, I think this is the first time we've seen this Pokemon. It's called a Wimscot, I think. I'm not sure. Wimscot, maybe? Cotton Spore. Oh, it's going to lower my speed. Um, so then, it's not going to matter because I'm still probably, well, how is it faster than me? I'm faster than him. That's crazy. Then it's going to use a Gust, which is not going to do barely any damage. Because Gus is only 20 damage, plus my special defense is high, and that's doesn't get the stab ability. 
So, I'm going to kill that thing with the strength. And he's going to give me a lot of experience, I think. Yeah, 1,600. So his next Pokemon is Protoga. I don't know what that is. Is that a Conkledera? No. Oh, a Tortuga. This is the other um, Pokemon that you could get as a fossil. It's actually a really good Pokemon. You can also use it as an HM slave. But it's really physical and it's got a lot of defense as well. But it's got a lot of weaknesses like electric, grass, um, or ground. Well, I guess so does Archaeops, but whatever. Um, so we're going to come in here and get the magnet. And that's the last item of this cave. And then eventually I'm not going to battle him yet because I leveled up. I'm going to take this. Switch them, and I'm gonna sweep. Not sweep. Well, yeah, I guess it's sweeping, but I'm not gonna plan to sweep. I'm just gonna do it naturally because his stats are so high. I'll give him the lucky egg, and then proceed over this way to Pokemon Trainer in. He's going to start with the Bulldore, which is a rock Pokemon. Um, he has a Bulldore, a Joltik, a Clink, and a Ferroseed. I'm surprised he hasn't evolved some of his Pokemon. You'd think he'd be a little stronger, but I guess not. So, Team Plasma in. Boldor, Gantoru. And that thing evolves into a Gigalith, by the way, which I, which is extremely slow and its special defense sucks. But its defense and attack are super high. Along with its HP, it's not super high, but it's pretty good. So it's got sturdy, and that's why it hangs on. So he's just knocked down. And what does it say? It kept going and crashed. I don't even get that. Oh, knockdown. That probably means so I'm not flying anymore. So I defeat that, and he's going to send out a Tashidu, which I think that's the Pharaoh Seed, which is the little steel grass. Yeah, this is it. This is the steel grass Pokemon. Um, I'm going to use Acrobat because it's going to be effective to it. It's not going to kill it. Steel Thorns. Wow. He uses Iron Defense. And Steel Thorns, that's a good move. If you give it a Rugged Helmet, that's going to do a lot of damage to incoming physical attackers. But, anyways, we'll kill that thing. Steel Thorns. 505 experience. Then it's going to send out a Bachiru. Um, I don't know what that is. That is... Oh, the Joltik. Tension, your team was too nervous to eat berries. I didn't really have any berries, so... Joke's on you, buddy. So, he uses... Oh, wow, I must... Wow, I have the Lucky Egg. No wonder I'm not doing so much damage. So, I'm going to kill it with a Acrobat. No wonder I wasn't doing so much damage with Acrobat. I thought that I was going to do 110, but actually I was doing 55. But, then he has one last Pokemon, which is Gyaru, which is... This is a Clink. This is a Clink, not a Clang. And, I'm going to use Level Ground... And that thing will die from a level ground. No, it doesn't. Wow. Oh, I avoid the attack. Thank goodness. So I'll use level ground and I will kill that thing. So gain 2,800 experience. And that is this. That is charge stone cave. I think that. Oh, well, here comes Bianca. And. And then here comes Professor Juniper. So he's going to basically identify himself as the guy. So he just says some stuff and he runs off mad, I guess. Okay. So the, he, she just says some stuff and walks off, and then Bianca's like, she's serving as a bodyguard for the professor. That's kind of lame. So, um, I only have one repel left, so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna buy some repels. Yes, heal my Pokemon. So. You're welcome for waiting. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to buy some Max Repels if they sell them. Yeah, they sell Max Repels. Can I buy 99? I can. So I'm going to buy 99 um, because 
I don't know. I'll probably need that in my walkthrough. Because we there's a lot of things to cover in this walkthrough. So, so I'm only going to sell a super repel. So now I have 99 max repels. And then when you come out of here. If you come up here. Juniper's father. And Layla, which is the gym leader. Come out. Ooh. Oh, and he upgrades my, our Pokedex, so that's awesome. That's the leader, by the way, of this of this town's gym. She's flying. Or she's a flying type leader. She's not flying. That'd be funny. Oh, actually, we can't go to the gym leader place yet because we actually need to go to Route 7. And first, we're going to go to the PC. Move Pokemon. It's always the best option. So, naive. Hold on. So, I'm really glad. Well, I mean, I'm really glad that this thing is not a dominant or adamant. This Pokemon, I don't know why I'm so laggy. This is ridiculous. I'm also going to deposit this Pokemon. This is ridiculous. So yeah, I'm done with the box operations. I don't know why it's being so laggy. Okay, well, I guess it's just in the PC. That was, like, crazy. So yeah, um... Here, hold on, let me save it really quick. Um, Naive Nature is where it's speed... Oh my god. My mom is just being re retarded right now. Um... So I'm going to give this thing the experience share, something I haven't used in a little while. So he's got the experience share. And my other Pokemon's got the lucky egg. So that's that. His naive nature means that it's got good speed, and that's good because his speed is not the greatest. Ooh. Well, she just gives you charge beam, so let's take it and... Gratitude, I guess. So that's awesome. And we're going to battle this guy, and then I'll probably end the video because, I don't know. It's Time is getting running out, and I don't know. Um, He sends out a Baoki, which, ooh, this is the Semi-Seer. This is the evolved form of the Pan-Seer, which is the fire Pokemon. Um, I'll be able to take that out in one level ground. So, um, I kill that thing, and... Um, so, he dies, and gain 904 experience, and my other Pokemon is going to gain 933. Holy crap! Oh my god, really? Um, so yeah, that's all in this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and the next video, I'm going to go ahead and use the Max Repel. And, um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. In the next video, I will be training my, uh, Tynamo, and stuff so see you guys in the next video and i will be going to celestial tower so see you later